Okay, so uh, our because probability, I think we left with just a little bit more. So we mm. will be touching up on uh probability first, the uh, last yeah. part. Then after that, I will do a uh run through on uh discrete random variables again before we move on to binomial, because yeah. we did we did DRV already previously. Ah uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, but uh, I just want to. Uh, go through it a bit then after that we went to go on to binomial because binomial requires concepts from mm -hmm. discrete random variables okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay um you give me one minute uh. yeah one yeah minute. Okay, I'm back. Mm. Okay, um, let's go to probability again. Mm -hmm. Hey, before uh, before we start uh, can you help me to write the formulas first? Oh, okay. on somewhere. Then you send me. Wait, wait, wait. I go and get some people. Yeah, sure.
Victoria. Hmm? Can you hear anything? Um, a bit. No, as in not, as in not my voice. Can you hear the music? Yeah, 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 yeah a bit. Nice. Then can you hear anything now? Um, can you still hear the music? Wait. Little bit. Eh, can I? Little bit. Like there's something else in the background kind of thing. Oh, I think, I think this one you should be able to hear if it's like that. Oh. Can I? The binom binomial formula is the TR plus one, yeah, is it? Yes. <clears throat> oh. So APGP log trigo binomial integration, right? Yeah, you sent me.
So integration, that's what uh, is I put APGP log trigger binomial integration. That's all right. Mm. Okay, yes. Okay, you send me an idea. Okay, let's see. Uh. Can you still hear anything? Yo, I'm so sorry. What happened? Uh, it disconnected. Oh. Okay, let's take a look. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Very good. 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 Okay. Good. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Now, uh, I want to do a very quick recap on probability, okay? Okay, so previously on probability, we learned that we learned complementary events, remember? Complementary events. So when we have probability of A prime, when you find probability of A prime, it's basically one minus probability of A. Mm. Okay. Huh? Mm. Then we also learn about the additive rule, which is probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersect B. Okay? Mm. You remember this? Yeah. Why do we have to minus this? Of course, you know, it's like a, uh, 
oh, this is the intersection mark, so it's like... Okay. If, that, that's, it's, if not, it's like counted twice. Yes! Good. That's what I want to hear. It's to remove the double counting. Mm. Okay. So, after that, we also learn about um, mutual exclusiveness. If we say two events are mutually exclusive, what does it mean? Um, um, so like they they don't they don't occur at the same time, but like um all right, you're right. Cannot occur I, I know, at the same I know time. they don't occur at the same time. They're just like You're right. It cannot occur at the same time. So if it cannot occur at the same time, what what, what does it mean for this? Will there be an intersection? No. No. Which means probability of A intersect B will be equals to Zero. Zero. Perfect. Correct. This is what the the markers will want to see. Mm. When they say mutually exclusive, means they are expecting you to understand this. Mm. Can? Mm. So next. What uh what does it mean to be okay, we talk about conditional probability first. Okay, for conditional probability, when I have probability of A given B has occurred. Mm. What is the formula? Do you know? Um is P A intersect B over um probability of B. Solid. Very good. Okay. Mm. So usually from conditional prop, right? What they like to do is they will tell you that <clears throat> okay, assuming that A and B are independent events. So what 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 would that mean for the probabilities then? Um, what do you mean? So if A and B are independent events, what can you tell me about the probability of A intersect B? Oh, uh, then it's like nothing, so it's zero. No, independent. Huh? Okay, so I have to state here. This is super important. Independent. Oh dear. Independent is not equals to mutually exclusive. This is a very uh, common misconception. Okay. Independent does not mean mutually exclusive. It mutually exclusive means that they cannot happen at the same time. Independent means that both events don't affect each other. Mm. Okay, like like you going to uh you staying home and me giving tuition. Is mm. it independent or is it mutually exclusive? Independent. It is independent. Is it mutually exclusive? No, it is not. Oh. Right. But let's say you staying at home and you going to ACS International. Is it independent or is it mutually exclusive? Um, mutually. It's mutually exclusive because it cannot happen at the same time. Hmm. So when they say A and B are independent, it does not. It does not mean. It does not mean this. Hmm. No, it doesn't mean that. Hmm. So when they say A and B are independent, means that. So for for when A and B are independent, and you want to find the probability of A given B, 
probability of A given B will be what? Let's say, I want to find the probability of you uh, staying at home given that I am going to give online tuition. So, the, it will be the probability of you staying at home, right? Mm. Because over here, which is the main character? The main character, the main character is this. Yes, it's you. Yeah. I am just a condition that is trying to affect you. So, but the question is trying to find what's the probability of Victoria staying at home, given that Kenny has to give online tuition. So, mm. I'm just a probability that's trying to affect you. But the thing is, I cannot affect you because these two are independent events. That's why the, the answer is still probability of you staying at home. Mm. Make sense? Mm. Yeah. So, with that said, probability of A in this case, because from, from here, we see that probability of A given B has, sorry, yeah. Prob, prob, can, you see, can you see this? Probability of A given B has happened, right? Yeah. It's equal to probability of A intersect B over probability of B. Mm. Correct. But if they say A and B are independent events, means probability of A given B has happened is equal to probability of A. Right? Mm. And from here, means that probability of A given B is equal to probability of A equals to probability of A intersect B over probability of B. So in other words, right, from this relationship, it will become probability of A intersect B will be equals to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. Mm. Understand? Yeah. Super important, uh, this one. Mm. Okay, so this is basically what we covered the previous lesson. This is just mm. a recap. But I'm now going to go to the probability tree, the tree diagram. Mm. That's the last part. Then after that, we all can move on to DRV and binom. Mm. Okay. Find the tree diagram part. Tree diagram. Ah, tree diagrams. Okay. Oh, previously I think we did this tree diagram thing, but let's run through it. Mm. Uh, this one. Question seven. Can see? Mm -hmm. Okay. The English Premier League consists of 20 teams. Tottenham is currently placed 8 on the table. It has 20% of winning and 50% chance of losing against any team. Okay. So, a lot of information here. Mm. So, we want to help the brain to register the information. We have 20 teams. Currently place 8. It has 20% chance of winning. 50% chance of losing. Okay. If a team is placed below it, Tottenham has 50% chance of winning and 30% chance of losing. 
find a probability that Tottenham will draw its next game. Okay. So you have your mouse, right? Mm -hmm. Can you draw me the probability tree? Why? This? Do the thing. I don't think I... Annotate, yeah, go to annotate. Wait, wait. Can I see? Okay. You are using green, right? Yeah. Yep. Eh, why is it green? Ah, never mind. You want to use other colors, okay? No matter. Hmm. Uh, where's the thing? Wait, but then what about the drawing part? Wait. Oh. oh wait. Should I start again? Hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay, you, you can clear you can clear the drawing if you want to start again. Oh. Or you can erase, I can erase for you. You know, you wish, right? Yeah. Mm. It has twenty tips. So should I start from this one first, right, to draw? Mm. One minute now, let me check. 20 teams, Tottenham is currently in 8th place on the table. He has 20% chance of... If a team... Find the probability that he will draw its next game. I think we should we should look at who he is playing against first. Mm. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Because mm. we don't know who he's playing against. We need to know whether is he playing against a team that is... Mm. Okay? So it's team above. Mm. Team below. So what's the probability of him playing against a team that is below? Mm. Um. How, many teams, how many teams are below? About 12. Huh? Oh, hey, yeah, wait. yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Correct, correct. We know it's we know it's twelve. We know it's twelve. Yeah, correct. It's twelve. So it'd be twelve over twenty. Mm. Then team above. Um, eight over twenty. Oh, actually, it won't be twenty. It'll be nineteen, right? Oh, of course, you don't count themselves. Yeah. Oh. You're right, you're right. Well, this mm. is an interesting question. Mm. 
Yeah, so it'll be 12 over 19. And team above will be? 7 over 19. 7 over 19. So from here, then we can branch out. Mm. We use a different color. Okay, so for team above, to win, lose, win, lose. Okay, but the thing is in a soccer match, right? Mm. We can draw. Need not be win or lose, right? Mm. So we have to factor in draw. Okay, draw, I will put it in black because that's what we want. Mm. Okay, so what's the probability of winning a team that is above? Uh, 20%. 20%, so it's 0 0.2. Two. What's the probability of um, losing then? 0. 0.5. 5. 5. So, from here, we see uh, this is 0 0.2, this is 0 0.5. We know mm -hmm. that the probabilities don't add up, but right? Because in total, it is 0 0.7. Mm. Which means this probability of drawing it uh, is mm. 0 0.3. 3, yes. So same thing, you do the same for the team below. Can you fill out the probabilities for me? Okay. Wow. So bad handwriting. You're using the mouse, man. that's why I'm using a I'm using a tablet. Oh. <laughs> but my handwriting not bad, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. Okay, so over here, once we are done, they say find a probability that Tottenham will draw its next game. So we have to map out the different ways that he, this fella can draw, okay? Mm. So for him to draw is, we can go this way, then we go mm. this way. Alternatively is, we can go this way, then we go yeah. this way. So find me the probability that he can draw. Once the, once the probability tree is drawn out, uh, mm. everything is very clear. So it's 7 over 19 times 0 0.3. You can, you can, you can. Oh, uh, oh. yeah. Oh. Wait. I'm so hard to draw. I saw the right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not easy, right? Last time, last time, right? When I was, uh, last time when oh, I was, uh, using Zoom, uh, I, I, I keep using mouse also. But never mind, okay. Why not you tell me? I'll write for you. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it, it, it's just, it's just very, it's just very messy. It's fine, it's fine. I can read, I can read. I over 19. Okay. Times 0 0.3. Yes. I will take 3 over 10. Or something. Also can, also can. Then, um, End bracket. Then you plus, right? Good. That's what I want to hear. Wait, 12 over 19 times 0 0.2. Yes. Okay. Done. Done deal. Because uh, my concern, my concern was this part. Mm. Okay. Good.
Okay, I think we're done with probability three. Uh, because previously you were telling me that you got issues with the uh, independent cases and the uh, probability three. But I hope we mm. rectified that already. Mm. Okay. Okay, I think we can move on to discrete random variables now. Mm. Because uh, probability, this is as hard as you can get. Uh. Mm. Okay, let's try some questions from discrete random variables. See if you still remember. Uh. Mm. Or do you have any tutorial questions that you want to ask me? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. Okay, um, let's start with B. Okay. So, are you writing it or? Okay, let's read the question first. Mm. Set this number of hits in each softball match has the following probability distribution. Okay, actually, we start with A. Sorry, A sorry. Okay. State clearly what the random variable represents. Random variable meaning this X. What does this X represent? The number of like hits. Correct. X is the number of Sally's number of hits in each softball match. So you must state let X be the number of hits in each. Softball match. Okay. Then mm. B. Find K. So, understand the setter's intention. When they ask you to find K, where is K? K is right over here. Mm. What is the setter trying to test you over here? Why did the setter put the K here? Because uh, they want you to know that the total probability is 1. Solid. Power. That's exactly what they will, what they will want to hear. So, you know that they're testing you on this probability, right? Mm. Probably, probability, the summation of the probability of the big X equals to small X is equals to 1. Which means everything here when you sum up together is equals to 1. one. Alright. Because this is exhaustive of every single event in the Venn diagram. Mm. Okay. So part C. Probability of X greater or equals to 2. How to uh, find so this? Is, so um, you look at 2 onward, like from 2 to 5, the probability. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, can. So, you basically, you just need to add probability of x equals to yep. 2 plus all the way to probability, probability of x equals, equals to five. 5. Okay, how about probability of 1, 3? Uh, so, you just look at uh, one, two, and three, right? Yeah, correct. Oh. Yeah. So very easy. Huh? Okay, mm. I can move on right now. Means, yep. means you didn't forget what we learned the other day. Try 6A. You can do it, you can try it on a piece of paper.
Do I do B also? Yeah. Dan? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. Yep. Okay, so let me go through. So basically what this is trying to say is that uh, this is the PDF, the probability distribution function. Mm. Okay, I mentioned if a probability distribution function can come in terms of an equation or it can come in terms of a table. But usually once we get the equation, we want to translate it into a table to see mm. it clearer. Okay, so on, in a table form, how, how will this look like? So we have three values. Mm. So the... This will be X. X. This P. So this is one, two, and mm. three. Yep. So when x is equals to 1, this will be 3k. When x equals 2, this will be 4k. And this will be 5k. So using the concept that you taught me earlier, mm. it will be 3k plus 4k plus 5k equals to 1. From here, you just have to solve for k. Yeah, that we will not go through mm. because you are fully competent to do this. Mm. Okay, so the next one, same thing. Okay, yep. over here. And this time around, we have four values. Okay, we have our x and we have a p x equals to x and we have 0 1 2 and 3 so here we have our 0 over x plus 1 which gives us 0 and then eh, oh my bad sorry is k over 1 which is k 
k over 2 k over 3 k over 4 so same thing again k plus k over 2 plus k over 3 plus k over 4 will give you 1 mm -hmm. then same thing set soft for okay. k again yep okay easy moving on Then after that, did we learn about expectation? Oh, no, no, no. That's, no, no, haven't yet. Oh, we haven't learned. But in school, learn, we learn already expectation. Yeah. But it's through the e-learning thing. Okay. Now I'll go through. Yeah. Okay. So. Ay, 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 ay. Are you okay? Yeah, I dropped my calculator. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll continue. Okay, maybe I will use this. Uh, let me use a question for example. I'll use this question to explain expectation. Mm. Okay. So two marbles are randomly selected without a replacement from a bag of four red and two blue. So we have four red and we have two blue. So this is important point. And the other important point is that it is without replacement. So we have to note it down. Without replacement means that they are at Every single selection of the marble is going to be dependent on each other. The probabilities are not going to be the same anymore. Make sense? Mm. Yeah. So after that, we have to let x, because they say let x be equals to number of red marbles selected. Okay. Mm. Then they say find the probability distribution of x. So usually when they ask for probability distribution, they want in table form and not in equation form, okay? But they can still they can give you an equation form, it's just that when they ask you for it, you have to give in table form. Yeah. Understand? So when yeah. they say let x be the number of red marbles selected, we have four red and we have two blue. Okay. Mm. So we are trying to select the number of red marbles selected out of Okay, actually not all. We want to select uh, two marbles. Okay, mm. we have four red and two blue. So what are the different uh, uh, ways that we can select uh, the red marbles out of two, four? Uh, in, in total, we are, we are going, only going to select two, two marbles. Yeah. So what are the different values of, red, of, of X? So can be like um let X denote the number of yeah. red marbles selected. Huh? Wait. Cause you can you can only draw two marbles only. Yeah yeah. yeah. So yeah. like it, but if I were to if I were to express it in like like the like like the color ish, it will be like cause if you if you just draw two, it can be two red. All right. It can be two blue. It can be one red, one blue. Okay, now, 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 yeah, now we want to talk about the blue. Okay, so yeah, you are correct. It can be two red. It can be one red. one red. Or no red. Yes. So what are the different values of X? Oh, zero, one, two. Power. So this will be my X. This is my probability of X equals x 0 1 2 so we need to find what's the probability of selecting zero uh marbles uh zero red marbles what's the probability of selecting zero red marbles 
Um, okay, what's the probability of selecting red first? So this is something that I'll write out. Okay. Probability of selecting red is four over, four six. over six, which is two over three. Yeah. Probability of selecting blue. It will be 2 one over three. 6, which is 1 over 3. Yes, you're right. So now when I want to select the first marble, okay, for, for 0 red marbles means 2 blue, like, right? Mm. Okay, probability of x to be equal to 0 means it's equal to probability of blue, comma, blue. Mm. So for probability of blue, comma, blue means I want 1 over 3. Okay, so maybe I don't write 1 over 3 because it's not indicative of total number of blue. 2 over 6 times... 2 over 6. Times what? Oh, wait, no. 1 over 5. Yes. But you don't sound confident. Why 1 over 5? Why not 1 but over 6? It, it, it's not, there's no replacement. So it's the number, the total number of numbers will like decrease with every uh, marble you take out. Yeah, you said it right. And how, and how. Mm. Okay, so from here, you'll be able to get your answer, which is 2 over 30, which is 1 over 15, right? So we mm. can put this in, 1 over 15. Then next one, it will be, what's the probability of getting um, 1 red and 1 blue? X equals 1 means is okay, maybe it, be, before we do 1 red or 1 blue, uh, maybe we do 2 red. Uh. I think 2 red is here. Okay. Probability of red, comma, red. How? So it's 4 over 6 times 3 over 5. So we get 12 over 30, right? Which is equals yeah. to 2 six. over... Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Eh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Correct or not? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't scare me, eh? Yeah, yeah, correct, 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 correct. <laughs> 2 over 5. Okay, so lastly, we want to find probability of x equals to 1. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Which can be probability of red, comma, blue, right? Yeah. Is that on the only way? No. Which is the other way? 1 minus that and... Correct. Minus Correct. Very good. That is the way that I want. Okay? Mm. So, this is always the most preferred way. 1 minus 1 over 15 plus 2 over 15, eh, 2 over 5, sorry. Because mm. you know that this whole chunk here, the summation will give you 1. So mm. there's no need to find Px equals 1. In fact, Px equals 1 is harder to find because, don't forget, uh, when you find Px equals to 1, uh, you need to find probability of red, blue, or probability of blue, red. Yep. Which is more more fun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that this is why when, 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 when you try to find you must go and when you find find want to find the probabilities manually, uh, go and find the probabilities that are easier to find first. Mm. Okay, so uh, over here this is uh, times three times three. This actually equals to six over fifteen. So if this six over fifteen is one over fifteen, so this will be eight over fifteen. Mm. Okay. So now once you get the probability uh distribution out. Uh, Let's say now the question says in part in part B. Okay. Fine. Okay, let's say in part B. It says find the mean. Number of red marbles drawn. Hmm. More fun. So the secondary school method, uh, the secondary school method will be to do what? Uh, you said you got zero, one, two, right? So you were like, okay, average will be equals to zero plus one plus two over three. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, why three, ah? Uh? Because, oh, sorry, sorry. 
Because we in 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 in, in total we have three values, ma. Oh okay. Oh right? yeah, yeah yeah. We have three values. So we can either have zero marbles, one marble, or two marbles. So you use zero plus one plus two divided by three. Mm. Right? But the thing is, this was a secondary school method. We are no we are we are we are not obeying the 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 law of probability. Yeah? Because probability is supposed to be random. When we do this, uh, we are assuming that every digit, every value uh, of x, uh, every every value of the number of red marbles drawn has the same probability. Because what we are doing here, we are using the discrete value. We are using each discrete value to multiply by its given probability. This is the given probability. We are assuming that every value has the same probability, which is one third, one third, one third. But in, in actual fact, uh, in, in reality, uh, the probabilities are different. Mm. So every number has a different probability of occurring. We cannot assume that every number has the same probability of occurring. That is not true. That was what we did in, uh, uh, primary, pre, uh, in, in primary school and secondary school. Okay. So when we want to find the mean or average in at, at IBSL level, we understand mm. it as expectation of X. Okay. This is called expectation, which is also known as your mean, which is also known as your average. Okay, how do we find this? We have to sum up all the x values multiplied by its corresponding probability. Yes. So in this case, we'll be using 0 multiplied by its probability, which is 1 over 15, plus 1 multiplied by 8 over 15, plus 2, multiplied by 2 over 5. Is it essential to show this? Yes, you have to. Although you know that it's 0. Uh. Understand? Mm. So from here, this is how you find the expectation, the mean, the average. Mm. Because every single value has a different probability of occurring. That's why we need to multiply the number with its probability. So that it's only fair to understand, oh, how often will this number occur? Yeah, understand? Mm -hmm. Is it clearer? Yeah. A any part that you, you still have doubts with, like, oh, why is it like that? No. No. Uh. Okay. So after that, there's this other thing called variance. Do you all learn about variance? Uh, pretty? Stats we did. But not like in this context. Okay, hold on, yeah. Okay, anyway, now since we learn about uh, expectation, we, we try a question on expectation first. Okay? Yep. If you need a break, let me know. I need. Okay, before this, uh, uh, let's come to this, this, this part first. Before we go to expectation, I want to introduce this thing to you. In case later you forget um, about expectation, you can review the uh, video on YouTube again. I'll send you the link. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so the whole concept of expectation uh, is very widely used in um, this thing called fair games. Mm. Okay, so basically, it can be anything. It can be gambling, you know, like blackjack, mm. um, baccarat, or even in arcade. Yeah, because mm. um, whenever you want to play a game, there's a probability to a game. Then you will have to pay for it, right? 
uh-huh. that you have to pay for it. So when it is a fair game, uh, the expectation of the game, okay, X is basically the outcome of the game. Uh. The expected yeah. outcome of the game Okay, if it's a fair game, the 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 um expected gain okay the expected payout or return minus the expected cost of playing the game should be equals to zero. Mm. When it's equals to zero, then we can conclude that, oh, this is a fair game. Mm. Why? Because if the expectation uh, is less than zero, means no matter how you play, you are playing on the, at a disadvantage. No matter how you play, you are playing on the losing end. Because the expected outcome was meant for you to lose if it's, if the expectation of X is less than zero. Oh. Make sense? But but the but the, the fact is that right, most gambling games are and most arcade games right are like that. Oh. Yeah. So you if you actually win something from from it, right? I mean you must be quite good at it. Lah. Mm. Or is either that or I mean when it comes to gambling, I feel like it's luck. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Oh, actually, the only game that that uh, involves probability, I mean, you can tilt probability to your favor is poker. Oh. Mm. Okay, expectation of X, if it's greater than zero, wow, good. This is the kind of game that we want to play. Mm. Yeah. Okay, understand this, huh? Yeah. And if you understand this, then uh, we can move to a real question. Maybe we take a look at this one first. Okay, let's take a look at this. In a game of chance, okay. In a game of in, in a game of chance, a player spins a square spinner labeled one, two, three, four. The player wins the amount of game shown. Okay, so if it's number one, you get one dollar. Number two, you get two dollar. Number three, you get five, and number four, you get eight. Okay. Mm. Okay, depending on which number comes up, lah. Okay, so determine the expected return for one spin of the spinner. So over here, when they mention expected return, they talking about they talking about the revenue. Hmm. means how much haven't minus the cost yet okay haven't minus the cost yet when they talk about return means like the revenue profit is um the revenue minus cost right is it yeah. in, in economics yeah. Yeah, yeah so profit is equals to revenue minus cost so over here the return is referring to revenue, okay? In math, that when they say return, it means revenue. Mm. So, expected return for one spin of the spinner. So, so right here, we want let x be equals to the returns return for oh, actually the return Okay, no, actually we cannot phrase it this way for this question. So you can just state it. You can just state it. Expected return mm. or one spin. Okay, this for part A. It will be equals to one times one uh, oh, it will be one times. Sorry, this one times one over four 
plus 2 times 1 over 4 plus 3 eh? plus 5 times 1 over 4 plus 8 times 1 over 4. Okay, so this is where people will be confused. Okay, they'll be like, eh, no, what, Kenny, just now you taught me expectation. Huh? Then we learned that the expectation should be, should be this, this x value multiplied by this. These two multiply by this. Not, is it because it's not the probability? Correct. Oh. So, right, we got to, we can only use the number multiplied by its given probability. Am I right? Yeah. So, what we should be doing is that we have to reformat the probability distribution table. Hmm. Okay, this is very bad. I draw here. <laughs> so you are right, huh? Mm. Okay. So we want to have we want to find an expected return. So x is the amount of returns for one spin. So we have to define what is x first. Always define what is x. Just, just, that's why just now I couldn't define x because I was looking at this table. Because mm -hmm. x in this case is the number that that the spinner shows that the spinner reviews, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now I can confidently define x as the amount of returns in one spin. So in this case, my bottom table here, $1, $2, $5, will become my top table. Mm. So this will become 1, 2, 5, 8. And what's the probability of hitting a 1? Okay, it's a square spinner. So, so 1 over 4. 1 over 4. This will be 1 over 4 also. This will be 1 over 4 because it is unbiased. Mm. Okay, they did not mention here, but um, they should lah, in IB. Mm. That's why from here, you are able to get to this. Because yep. 1 times 1 4, 2 times 1 4, 5 times 1 4, 8 times 1 4. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yep. Very good. Okay, what's the expected gain of the player if it costs five dollars to play each game? So now we're talking about expected gain here. Hmm. So expected gain in part B. Just now remember expected gain is equivalent to what? Expected returns. Minus the cost of playing. Oh. Correct? Oh. Yeah. So the expected return, it will be this thing. 1 over 4 times 1, 2, 1 over 4 times 2, 2 dollar, 1 over 4 times 5 dollar, 1 over 4 times 8 dollar, so on and so forth until we get then if you sum it up, we get $4. Mm. Okay. What's the cost of playing? Cost of playing is $5. $5. Because this, the, the, this, this cost of playing is not the expected value. It is definite really. We are not going to expect anything. It, it, it is $5, right? Mm. Yeah. So minus $5. So we get minus One. $1. So is this a game that we want to play? No. no. Yeah, no. That's why in part C, they ask you, would you recommend playing this game? Of course not. Lah. Mm. You are expected to lose. Eh. Why would you want to play, right? So this is how you must, must explain. Because since expectation of X, I won't say it not equals to zero. I will put like expectation of X lesser than zero. <laughs> right? Mm. Since expectation of X is lesser than zero, the game is not fair and it is a losing game to play. Mm. That's why we will not recommend. 
Okay, so this is how we employ expectation into the in uh, the the concept of expectation into a fair game question. Yep. Okay, now let's try a. Um, uh, sorry, uh, we couldn't take any break. Anyway, no, no, no. yeah. Anyway, the lesson is ending soon, so mm. we will just do a question first. Okay. Let's try this question. Okay, let's see. Huh? A charity fundraiser gets licensed to run the following gambling game. Okay, a die. Okay, in IB they will mention is it a bias die or fair die, la, but let's take it as a fair die over here, okay? Hello? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, because on, on the screen I cannot see your. Your yeah, yeah. body language, yeah. yeah a yeah. die is rolled and the returns to the player are given in the pay table alongside. Okay, so if you roll a six, you get ten. If you get roll a four, you get four. Roll five, you get four. One, two, three, you get one dollar each. Mm. To play the game, it costs four dollar. Okay. So firstly, when they give me this table, I want to come out with my own PDF. Make sense? Mm. You know what PDF? PDF means? The probability distrib distribution yes yes correct so so we break we break down part by part because there's an intention the in, the intention of the setter for giving us um different parts are uh, or they, they give us this thing was to they give us um sorry they give us this thing was to make us come out with the PDF. Okay. They give us game cost four dollars is for us to find out whether is it a fair game later. Mm. Yeah. So over here we will have um result. Oh Oh, okay. Oh dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is wrong. Let's redraw this. Why do you think I think I I I, I drew wrongly? The, the it, this 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 thing isn't it like if you were to just draw directly, right, then the second row that one is not the probability. Like you never like you, you don't you don't you don't directly transfer the thing to them. Yeah, because no, because we have to define what is x first. What is x in this case? X is the returns the player. from rolling is the returns from playing one game. Right? Returns of playing one game means I roll the dice once. Ah. Yeah. And the re and the the returns from play means means my x value they are all returns because previous just now I, I I had like six rows I wanted to write one two three four five six which is incorrect because by right the the the, the first row over here the first row over here yep. it should have been one dollar four dollar and ten dollars. I mean, there's only there's only three possibilities. Mm, you're right. So this will be one, four, and ten. Yeah. So what's the probability of getting one? Uh it's half. Half, which is three over six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then, then because we have one, two, three. Getting four? Two over six. Then one last one six. has to be one over six. Yeah. So we already got this table out, which makes it very easy. 
Okay, then we continue to read. To play the game, it costs $4. So, cost of playing is equals to 4 bucks. This is a fixed cost. Yeah. A result of play of getting a 6 with wins, um, uh, get, getting a 6 wins $10. So, in fact, you are ahead by $6 if you get a 6 on the first row. Okay, you understand this part? Because the cost of playing is four dollars, ma. So ten minus mm. four, you get six dollars. Mm. So what? What are your chances of playing one game and winning ten dollars? Okay. So now the one of winning ten dollars. So the the whole point of this part A was to help you to come up with this table. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you already have all your probabilities right over here already. Yeah. For this. So that, that is for part A. Okay. Mm -hmm. So next up, your expected return from throwing a six is this one over six times 10. What is your expected return from throwing a four or five? Um. Oh. So probability of throwing a four or five means that they want probability of throwing a four or plus probability of throwing a five. Mm. Right? We want the returns of throwing a four. Return of throwing a four it will be one over three times, times four dollars. Plus one over three times four dollars. So we will get eight um, over three. Yeah. That's the that's the uh, expected return. Mm. Okay. So what's the expected return from throwing one, two, three? Okay, all these are quite simple. Uh. Mm. Basically you just multiply accordingly. Yeah. Mm. So what is your overall expected result at the end of one game? Uh, it's not fair, right? So that means, I mean, you need to, you need to, you need to do um, one over, uh, you need to do one over three times one plus one over three times, it, it, it's just, it's just, the, it's just the, Wait, am I even explaining this correctly? Because it's like, I want to say like... Uh, Hold yes. on. Uh. Uh, let me check if this this is... this is What's your, ex your expected return from throwing a 6 is 1 over 6 times $10, correct? Yeah. So return of throwing a 4 or 5. Oh, I think right... I think right, this part 1, uh, B part 1, right? Yeah. The expected return from throwing a four or five is equals to just one over three times four dollars. You only do one, sir. Yeah. Because we when we throw, we only throw either four or five. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, you only get to you only get you only get one number. Right? Oh okay, okay, okay. So yeah, for yeah. one, two, three, it will be for one for one, two, three, it will be three over six times one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then the yeah, expected yeah. return for this one, it will be everything times together, which is what you said earlier. For for this one. Yeah. It will be like uh three over six times one plus two over six times four plus one, one over six. six times ten. That will be for part three. Mm. Okay, so for part C, what's the overall expected result at the end of one game? Uh, so, expected result means in this case, right, they are talking about expected gain, not returns really. They say that it's a result. Uh, right? So just now we mentioned expected gain is equals to 
your is equals to expected returns minus the cost side. Yes. Minus the cost, the fixed cost. Okay, I'm going to write it as fixed cost. Mm -hmm. Which is equals to $4, la, the fixed cost, right? Yeah. 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 So the expected returns will be everything over here, which is half plus cancel, cancel, two, three, plus four over three, plus five over three, which is equals to what? Uh, nine over nine over three is three three and a half, so it's three point five. Yep. So the expected returns will be three point five dollars minus fixed cost four dollars minus zero point five zero point five. So is it a good game to play? No. Why not? Because it's like you get lost. Oh. 50 cents. Yeah. Like the one game. Yeah. You will keep losing 50 cents. So what, what do you think is the overall expected result after 100 games? Aha. Uh -huh. Then, um, you just times everything by 100. Yeah. Lo. So you will lose 50 cents 100 times. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so like 50, 50. yes, just multiply by 100. Yep. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Did your teacher go through this during the home based learning? Uh, eh, I mean, uh, they only asked us to watch the video like, and then do the worksheet. But she said she said she can't help us with the questions. But if like we had questions when, uh, when um like watching the video, then she will answer. But I don't think but when but when we did the work that we were supposed to upload by the end of the lesson, we didn't have to do like um we didn't have to do like uh what's that called? The uh like you know don't, you know like they ask you how the 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 basically the one we just did, like the type of the the type of question. Cause sometimes they can just the questions that we got is just like find expected value. The roll, oh. the die is rolled twice. Find okay. the probability of obtaining two scores of three or something like that. Okay, means means yeah. they 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 give you tutorials to do it, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, but that one you haven't complete yet, right? What do you mean? As in like the questions that they give you, you you oh, you done already. Oh, finish ready, finish ready. Cause you must upload by the end of the lesson. Oh. Yeah, we I already did. Okay. So, um. I think I will give you uh, three questions to try. Okay. But but not now lah. Mm. Because I have another lesson coming. I will just put paste it here. Uh, also I just take a picture. Um actually don't need I can send you. Oh, but, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, send you one, one more. Then the next lesson, we can go through these questions and okay. I'll post it here first so that I'll remember when I review the lesson on YouTube. Mm. Yeah, so next lesson, I'll go through this one and then I'll move into binomial distribution. But in the meanwhile, if you don't understand binomial distribution, right? Sometime yeah. in this week, anyway, you have home-based learning, right? Yeah, I just send you. Yeah, you can let me know when you're free. I can maybe zoom you for a quick like 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. To go through, roughly go through binomial distribution with you. But you let me know when, uh, you arrange with me earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Same, uh. 
Mm. Okay. If not, I think if you understand everything here today, we will just stop here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Stay safe. Okay. Ooh, stay healthy. You too. You too. And stay bye -bye. at home. Yeah, you too. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, bye.